Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Tactician's Monday Matches even though this is uh, about a day late. I am sorry I wasn't feeling very well on t on Monday when it was actually supposed to happen. But regardless, we're going to get into some of our first battles. Actually we got three battles lined up here so I'm going to show you this first battle that I had during one of my uh, battle stream giveaways, or maybe it was a battle stream, but either way, my opponent today is going to, or in this first match, is going to be against Daemon. Let me tell you, this uh, this battle turns out quite, uh, quite interesting, I think, I think it's turned out quite interesting. So I'm going to start off with uh, Naomi, my, uh, Naomi, my, t my, we my Weavile. This was a very long battle at 28 turns. And I'm gonna start off with, well, I thought for a moment I was faster, but it turns out I was not faster, and I, you know, I get the Parahax. Yeah, very Parahax, and uh, Naomi's too slow, can't outspeed, so bam, I gonna think maybe I'm gonna pull Naomi out, so maybe I can, you know, get that fake out pressure later on when I really need it. So I send in you. So you's gonna take this Thunderbolt pretty well, and I'm like, oh, okay, this is gonna, oh crap, I get paralyzed again. The synchronize goes off, but obviously Jolteon is unaffected by, you know, electric, you know, para paralysis. So that's not gonna work very well. I get, I get my, uh, you know, I get some help with my leftovers, but Damon's gonna go for another Thunderbolt. I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna try to do some damage, see, what, see how much damage I do. Yu's gonna go for a faint attack. It's not gonna do a whole lot against the uh, Jolteon, so already this is not looking good for my team. I'm two members are paralyzed, so I'm thinking, all right, let's try to send someone else in. So I send in Naomi in. So I send in Naomi again because I need a clean swap, and I can't let this Jolteon, uh, you know, knock me out. So it's gonna go for another Thunderbolt. I think maybe it's Choice Specs, which is why it's doing so much damage. But in any case, my Naomi's gonna go down pretty quickly. So now it out comes Maria. So I'm thinking, okay, what what can Maria do here? So I forget to actually mega evolve. Oh wait, no, that wasn't Maria. That was actually Sophia. Ha ha! I actually fooled myself completely. And there's the dog in the background. So that's gonna be the end of Sophia. So I'm thinking, okay, now what do I gotta do? Okay, I've lost Sophia, used Paralyzed, I've lost Naomi, I'm two Pokemon down. Three if you count my Paralyzed, you, my Umbreon. So I'm gonna send in Linda, my Mega Absol. So finally, after losing two Pokemon, having one Faint, or one one Paralyzed, Linda's gonna finally take down this Jolteon. But that thing did a lot of damage. So I'm gonna come out with Linda here. So actually, I'm gonna pull Linda out because I don't want to deal with this. You know, I don't want to deal with this toxic effect. So Tainted Lady's gonna, you know, go for the skull damage here. It's not gonna do a whole lot. Toxic is not really known for its uh, damage output, shall we say? At least not if it's not running a certain certain ability that gives it more critical hits. But in any case, Damon's gonna switch out his Tox Effects, and I'm gonna go for the Refresh. See if I can get some help. Actually, see if I can restore some of my health. Now that the Paralysis is gone, Yu's gonna be sitting pretty. See see what I can do. So I'm thinking, okay, what's my opponent gonna do? I'm gonna switch Yu out here, right here. I'm gonna go into Maria, my Mawile. Because now that, you know, now that I've lost some of my biggest heavy hitters, and I don't want to risk uh, swapping my... Mega into this uh, now quiver dancing ribbon bee. Now he's just gonna, you know, go for a moon blast. It's gonna you know, do a lot of damage. Maria's not in her mega state, so she doesn't have a lot of power, but she manages to withstand that moon blast and go into the iron head. Even though she doesn't have a have a lot of firepower to her, she does enough to knock out Navi here. So that's the end of the room. Now out comes Jade. Prince the superior. I'm like, oh crap, there's nothing I can do here. So I go for a sucker punch. I'm like, okay, let's see what damage I can do here with Maria. So that was actually a pretty good damage with the crit with the critical hit onto the uh, to the leaf storm into the mistless leaf storm on the superior. So I go for another sucker punch, see if I can do some more damage, and out comes well, out comes the leaf storm, leaf storm finally hits. Poor Maria, she's not gonna last at all. So down goes my Mawile. Rest in peace, Maria. 
So that's the end of my Wawa. So now out comes Linda. I'm like, okay, let's see if I can, you know, do some more damage. So out come. So Dame is gonna switch out her, you know, switch out her power or Pokemon into Tainted Lady again. I'm gonna use knockoffs, knockoff the leftovers. I'm like, okay, that's the end of the knockoff, or not at the end of the leftovers. But this thing is still on the field, and it's gonna, and it has refreshers. So there's not a lot I can do. So I'm thinking, okay, try and burn me. I'm hoping for the. I was actually hoping for a burn here, but unfortunately, he's not gonna get the burn off, and or not gonna get burned and put the burn onto Tainted Lady. So that's not gonna do me any good. So once again, Dave is gonna switch out a uh, Tainted Lady Toxapex into this into this gl glacy gl gl I, gl I forget what is it called glace glacer. Uh, I, for I actually forget some of these Pokemon names. There's just so many I can't keep track of them all. But either case, Shivers is going to go into a Mega Form, so I'm like, oh crap. It's got probably got Explosion. It's probably got a lot of powerful moves. So it's going to go for the Return. I'm thinking, okay, this ain't good. This is not good. And for you, he just takes that off like a boss. But <laughs> my goodness, the Return damage. Oh, you is not meant for a lot of firepower. He doesn't have a lot of firepower to him. But that's the end of you. That's the, this is the end of you. There's no way I can swap in anything else, so I have to sacrifice you here. I'm, I'm, I was really hoping I could have kept you, but any other Pokemon I would have sent in would have been knocked out instantly. So out comes Kodiak. Kodiak's gonna go in for a pet, little uh, intimidate damage. See if I can intimidate him. But once again, Damon switches out and sends in her Tainted Lady. So this Toxpex is really starting to, really starting to get annoying here. I mean, it's got the Return over there ability, so it's just going to get more health either way. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe I can do some damage. Maybe I can flinch. Maybe I can get a Paralysis off, but she's going to go into Toxic. So I'm like, oh, come on, crap, this is not good. So now out comes the stalling of the light of the match because I've only got two Pokemon, Kodiak and Linda, my Mega, who is currently in reserve. So I'm thinking, okay, I gotta try to do some damage to this thing. I gotta try and knock it out really quick. But wouldn't you know, the Toxapex knows recover. So yeah, you can pretty much tell how I felt right at that moment. So Kodiak's gonna take some more poison damage. I'm now Damon's gonna withdraw the, the tainted lady and send back in her shivers. Once again, this mega glade glade light. There we go, Glaley. That's what it. That's the Pokemon name. So I'm gonna go for something else. I'm going for a crunch attack to bring down some of his defenses. So that's doing. That's actually doing pretty work. Unfortunately, he's faster than me, so it's gonna take some. Gonna take some ice or damage. I go for another fire fang, but. Trying to be fancy, and what do I know? What do I get? I get a five percent chance miss with Fire Fang. Great, great work, and be you, mi you missed your chance to knock out a Mega. Should have gone for the, should have gone for the crunch. Should have gone for the crunch. No, you had to go fancy. Now you lose Kodiak because of it. So now out comes Linda. So now I've went down to my Mega. There's, there's not much my my poor Mega can do here. So I'm gonna take some Ice Shard damage. I'm gonna go for a Shadow Claw. That's going to be the end of Shivers, but that Glalie did a lot of damage. It did all it needed to do and brought my team down a lot. I lost so many Pokemon to just the Glalie and the and the Jolteon, and now out comes the, uh, well, the Baneful Bunker. There's nothing else to it. I go for the knockoff trying to do some damage, but what do you know? I get poisoned, so this is pretty much the end of the battle. There's nothing poor Linda can do. So I think this is the... Yeah, I try for the try for some damage. I try to do something to the Tainted Lady, but... Well... Mega Absol is not known for her special defenses. Or its special defenses. And Linda does not have the special defenses to withstand this Toxapex. So that's the end of my, end of my battle against Damon. So alrighty, this was this was looking fun. Like I said, I'm not perfect. I mean, I do pull off some wins, but I, hey, I'm not perfect. 
So we're gonna go into this second match. We're gonna go into Sleep Power here. And let me tell you right now, these next two battles I do actually win, but only because by the silliest of margins. And as you can probably guess, this team is made up for us. As I owe, as one of my favorite sayings goes, when in doubt, send in a team of Furfros. So I'm gonna lead with uh, Evelyn here. Get, my opponent is gonna sleep. I was gonna go for a a shiny female Aurora with hidden with hidden ability. I have never seen that combination before. But then again, I've, I don't think I've ever had a had a real you know you know hidden ability Aurora. So, you know, I would like one, but I haven't seen one till now, at least. So, I'm gonna go for a U-turn into Leia here, so I'm thinking, okay, Leia, see what you can do here. She's gonna go for a Surf. This was my Choice Specs uh, Furfro. But yeah, this was my Choice Specs Furfro. I'm gonna do a lot of damage to the Auroras, but it's not enough to knock out the Auroras. But, here comes the fun part. I left enough damage for my next Furfro. Now, for those of you who don't know, Furfro actually can learn the, uh, the move Echoed Voice. And I just so happen to have a t timid uh, furfro, shiny furfro by the way, that knows echoed voice. Oh, I taught it. So I get go for the f echoed voice here, and now here comes the fun part here. So I'm gonna go for echoed voice. I actually gave this furfro metronome, and for those who don't know, metronome increases the power of a of a move if it's used consecutively. And since echoed voice, uh increases in power when it's actually used consecutively it's like doubling the attack power every time it's used so here comes echo voice number two but it's not doing a lot of damage to the mawa but it definitely inc picks up power so my fur fro here is going to actually avoid the rough play here i think if i had not avoided this rough play i probably would have lost this battle because of one simple reason because you know my opponent is using a lot of like uber pokemon such as primal groudon and so on so that's my third echo voice now it's actually starting to rack up a lot of damage but the mawile goes for the play rough it knock almost knocks me out and just as the hail end i don't think oh my goodness i don't think anything could have uh, it couldn't have happened any other way for me to actually uh pull this pull this craziness off so that's my fourth echoed voice now, and the Mawile is down. Now out comes the Altaria. So I'm like, okay, what can we do here? Let's go for another echoed voice. I'm really fast. I'm really fast with this uh, with this Pokemon. And now that's my fifth echoed voice. The Metronome plus the echoed voice is now so powerful that it's knocking out Pokemon in one shot. But now here comes the real test of this strategy. Now out comes the Primal Groudon, and Primal Groudon, I, I don't think anyone has ever seen a Primal Groudon before. This is actually my first time seeing a shiny Primal Groudon. Legit people, I've never seen a shiny Primal Groudon. Ha ha ha, you know, joke 2017. So I'm gonna go for Echoed Voice number 6, and BAM! Down goes the Groudon in one shot. I don't think Groudon ever expected to be knocked out by a poodle. Okay, so that's the end of the Groudon. So now we're on maximum power, so I can pretty much knock out everything in one shot that isn't protected by, uh, like, an ability or Focus Sash. So down goes the Gardevoir. That's the end of the Gardevoir. Now out comes Callista the, Mar the Marowak, the Alolan Marowak. And that's the end of the Echoed Voice Sweep. My, my Furfo sweep denied because I cannot touch uh, Alolan Marowak because Alolan Marowak is Ghost and I could voice as a normal type. So that's the end of my Furfo sweep. I did all I could, but uh, poor fur, my poor Furfo. She did all, did all I could. So that's the end of the Furfo. So now out comes Clara, my normal Furfo. In case you didn't know, my Furfo is normal because it's got no trip. So I'm gonna go for a Cotton Guard here, thinking, okay, what can I do here? Try to endure some of these attacks, because this is the last Pokemon my opponent has, and oh my goodness, I tanked that like a boss. So now Clara has taped up, has got the defenses, now I'm gonna give Clara some attack power. 
So now I'm going to go for a Z workout. For those who don't know, a Z workout actually increases the attack stage by one stage additionally, including the attack and special attack increase. So now Clara's got her uh, work up going. That's gonna actually gonna not actually help me out here because my opponent goes for a Will-O-Wisp, so cutting my attack already in half, or at least by a lot. But I tell you that right now, I do actually win this, and I'm gonna go for a Sucker Punch. I'm thinking, okay, maybe I knock it out, but no, it was not enough. It was not enough to knock out the the Marowak. And I revealed my Sucker Punch, so now my opponent knows to not actually go for an offensive attack, so... I'm thinking, okay, what can I do here? What can I do here? I'm gonna go for another Sucker Punch, thinking he would attack, but nope, he's gonna go for a will o -Wisp. He's just gonna spam will o -Wisp until... I can... until I'm actually knocked out. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe he'll, maybe he'll actually go for an attack once I'm close enough. Or once I'm close enough to actually KO. So I go for another work. I'm trying to increase my attack stat. Just trying to try to overcome the burn damage. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm close enough. He might actually go for an attack. Nope, but he stays true. He stays the course and avoids the sucker punch hit. So that's the end. Of, this is pretty much the end of my first row. So now I'm just flailing about trying to get him to attack me. Like, come on, attack me. I, my fur pros don't exactly have a lot of diverse moves. I've already used most of the diverse moves my Pokemon have. This is a full fur pro team. They can only learn so many moves. But, oh my goodness, I'm just gonna wear myself out. I'm thinking, okay, come on, what, maybe one more attack. No, he goes for the will of us again. He refuses to give me that knockout. And, oh my goodness, my fur pro goes down with all the glory I could give. So ignore that sound. That was me, me trying to pull the cord. And so I'm going to try to pull out the Miracle Hero now with Evelyn. I'm thinking, what can I do here? And oh my goodness, I'm running out of, running out of moves here. But I happen to have one last move, and it is Snarl. Most of my Pokemon do have... Do have a move and they do no snarl. But Barrel's gonna take this hit and he's gonna get a burn for his trouble. But he's gonna go for the snarl. And it's not enough to knock out the uh, Marowak. None of you heard that sound of me uh, plugging in my charger because my, my goodness. The 3DS was running was about to run out. So in any case, never mind that. But Barrel's gonna take an earthquake for her or for his trouble. Oh my goodness, I have so many female Pokemon, I'm, I'm getting the genders mixed up. But in any case, Beryl here, he's got the Snarl, and he's gonna Snarl away the Ghost uh, Kalista. So that is the end of the Alolan Marowak and the Furfro Sweep that was denied. But either way, Sleep Power lost to our Furfro. So that's the end of that battle. So now we got Ash Flame here, and once again, it's Team Furfro. I, I have to admit, my fur throws are actually a lot more fun to use than uh, most of my other teams that I've ever used. So I'm gonna lead with Evelyn once again, and he's and Ash is gonna act or Ash Flame is gonna lead with Evelyn. He's Riley. So this was actually a shorter battle than you know than I than was expected. So I'm gonna go for a U turn into the Riley. Thinking I was thinking maybe he was gonna try something else, but he goes for. So he doesn't go for that. He doesn't go for any uh, shenanigans at the moment. But he's actually going to go for copycat. He's actually going to go for some shenanigans. But I go into my fur fro, my shiny fur fro, once again with the echoed voice uh, metronome strat. So he's going to pull out his, uh, he's going to pull out his Riley and go for his scissor. So I'm thinking, okay, what can we uh, do here? I'm going to go for cotton ground. I'm not going to go for the echoed voice right off the bat. Because I know that Scizor is a very uh, powerful physically attacking Pokemon. And this Scizor happens to actually no superpower. So my Furfro is going to take that superpower. Thankfully, I do have some defense, defense investment, I think. No, actually, I don't have any defense investment. So I need to absorb as much damage with Cotton Guard as possible. And now I'm going to start off the Echo Voice. So that's Echo Voice number one, as you can see. 
not a lot of damage. Metronome doesn't actually kick in until the second move, so here comes Echo Voice number two. So the damage is starting to rack up, it is starting to increase in power, and speaking of power, here comes another super arrow from the Scizor. Uh, it's still super effective, but it's not doing a whole lot to my furfro, so I'm gonna go for another Echoed Voice, I'm gonna, this is Echoed Voice number three. And so you're probably noticing a trend here, I use these uh, steel type Pokemon that don't knock out my Furfro instantly to charge up my Echoed Voice Metronome superpowers. So Scizor is gonna take a gonna take a negative three in attack, and he's gonna try to go for a Bullet Punch, thinking that would knock me out. But my Cotton Guard plus his negative three in attack results in his not being able to knock through my Furfro and her fur coat. So that's the end of the Scizor. I am now on Echo on an Echo Voice number four. Now out comes the Rylu. So out comes Rylu, and well, since Echo Voice worked so well before, I'm gonna go for Echo Voice number five. So you're already seeing what's happening here. So that's the end of the Rylu. Now I think we've been here before. We've seen a Primal Groudon, but did you ever know that there was a Primal Groudon on this team? I don't think I've ever expected that from that from my opponents. Ah, so that's another Primal Groudon. This is already looking looking very familiar to a certain battle I just showed you all. So this is Furfro versus Gr Primal Groudon. Echoed voice number of five. No, I think it was number six. So rip the Groudon. I can't believe I'm beating Primal Groudons with a Furfro. So that's the end of the Furfro. Now my opponent is Ash is gonna send out a Delphox and I'm gonna go for another Echoed Voice because it's worked so well before. So that's seven Echoed Voices. I am at maximum charge. There is nothing that can that can stop me. He's gonna send his next Pokemon in an Eevee. Unfortunately, he's a little late for stopping me there. Or he probably could have gone for an extreme Evo boost before, but Poor Lily, he's not gonna stop my uh, echoed voice. So that's the end of the echo. That's the end of that. And now the final Pokemon on the field is Garchomp. I was thinking maybe if it was Choice Scarfed, it's actually not. It is actually Mega Garchomp. You know, I tell people this: if you're gonna Mega evolve your Pokemon, be careful about when you Mega evolve because regular Garchomp is actually faster than than Mega Garchomp. And I think I could have lost the speed, but, well, I'm faster than Mega Garchomp. So, that's the end of the battle. Furfro sweep. Furfro sweep achieved. So, I thank you all for watching this day's uh, Tactician's Monday matches. Even though it's not, you know, being played on Monday. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. the point where you can't go on just come to me you'll be safe from harm if you trust in me then i'll trust in you there's nothing more that i need to do if you put your hands in front of mine we'll be shining through one at a time just understand you're not alone and you at a time just understand you're not alone and you at a time just understand